Razabani for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got like heavyweight ex kickboxer. I'm not sure if he's still ex or if he's still kickboxing. No, no, it's ex me, yeah. yeah. Uh, with Chad Sugdin. Uh, Chad, you right? Yeah, I'm good, me. Good. Excited for the opportunity on uh, live on Channel 5. You've become a bit, bit of a novelty here. Um, we picked up by Craig Richards. Yeah. Um, I think that was in December. Yeah. At your call. Yeah. And now you get a chance to become the British light heavyweight. Yes, me. They've said to me this time last year, this way I'd be at. Do you know what I mean? I, I know I've got the ability to do it, but the way it's coming this time, it's, it's pretty impressive. And uh, I've just took the opportunities I've been granted with, and I believe that's all you got to do. Let's go back a little while. Obviously, you started off in kickboxing. Yeah. I know you've said up there on the top table that you started fighting when you were seven years old. Yeah. When did you realise that you wanted to come into into boxing and, and switch sports? Um, I always watched boxing more as a kid. Obviously, it's more of a mainstream sport, so I always had my idols in the boxing world. Like I love, I love Mass. Like it's unreal. Obviously, Kalzag is of the world and stuff like that. So I, I want, like especially them two. Like I really liked them. And obviously, I've got older. Floyd may ever come in, people like that. And uh, since I got older, obviously, I look back in the, the fighters, the greats. Do you know what I mean? And I've been watching all them boys as well. So I just love boxing, and I love, I love the spirit, man v man in the ring, and you get to, do you know what I mean? You get to put it all on the line on the night, and I think there's no buzz like it. And yeah, it's when I was 11, I started amateur boxing, and I just knew from then a few like national finals and get winning the Midlands numerous times, and then obviously stopping when I was 17 because I took on a professional kickboxing career. Um, the, ABA, the amateur boxing association took my, wanted to take my card off me because I was kickboxing, but I wasn't professional kickboxing at the time. But then I thought, well, if they're not going to let me box, and I may as well pursue this. And then I fought all over the world um, in Vegas. In Dubai, in Thailand, it, everywhere, uh, Azerbaijan, Germany, Spain, like some great places and had some real tough fights where I was the underdog, got in there and um, did the job. Do you know what I mean? I was had a win I was I won most of the fights, I ended up number two in glory and beating Myrtle Grownight in my last fight, who's now fighting for the title, same night I'm fighting for this. So like I I'm, and that was all before 21 years of age, and now I'm turn boxing at 22. Um, but people forget that I've been boxing all my life, sparring boxing and fighting boxing since I was 11. You know, when you came into boxing full time, obviously 20 or you're 25 now, three yeah. years now. Did you find the transition difficult, where you can only use your upper body and uh, your hands? I think. I won most of the kickboxing fights with my hands. Um, my, I had a, like, a couple of injuries which affect, was affected by the kicking and stuff like that. So it sort of drawn me to becoming more of a boxer anyway, and that was what my main skill set was. I was I used to beat people with my hands, and then the kicks were on the end. That was like a little little bit of fun on the end. Like and um, like don't get me wrong, I can still move my legs back now if need be. But I, I'm, I'm planning on pursuing a long boxing career now, and this is just the start for me. I know you said there that you're you're just happy for the opportunity. Yeah. But do you feel like this is the British title on the line? You obviously had court Craig Richards in December. That you would have ideally like more time to prepare. Uh, no, I believe like all up to reason. I'm ready to fight any time. And uh, for me, it was just getting the opportunities. Because if I got offered it, I'd have took it any time. Do you know what I mean? And um, if someone said to me, I would, got offered the British title in December, I'd have took it. So. I've had five weeks proper notice for the fight and yeah, I believe that's enough for me to get in there and do the job on the night. Like you said, you're only 25, what is what is the goal for you? What uh, is to be honest with you, world titles, um, I want to win the British outright and then I want to go on to world bigger and better things. Um, so the, I'm not looking past Shaq, Shaq's a great fighter and uh, it's a great fight on the night but I believe I'm the one that's going to win and go on to other stuff. When you did the head to head there, there was a clear difference in, in height is that he, as he said to me himself I should have been a basketball player yeah, yeah. Um, safer job isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is he had advantage with his with his reach of course he's got a longer reach like that's a no-brainer everyone saying that on the way in but people know that box is not just about reach and we both like I gain in other areas what he's going to reach I believe my skill set my timing everything like that's better 
So when I get in there, it's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a good fight. It's a good clash of styles, better styles, I think. Boxing's coming back to Coventry. I think it's been out of this place for about a decade now, but uh, we're gonna bring some good support with you. Uh, yes, mate, we're trying to get some more tickets now. Like, it's gone mad at back at home. Like, always goes mad, I always sell it. Two, three hundred tickets. So, but this time, obviously, sold them out pre pretty quick, and we're hoping we can get a few more because, um, and they will make some noise in there. So uh, good. It's going to be a noisy night, and hopefully, he brings the crowd as well, and we can get that roof off. Chad, uh, wish you nothing but the best. I know there's a couple of weeks still left. Uh, appreciate your time, uh, and we'll definitely catch up with you closer in the fight. Wicked, mate. Chad yeah, Chibdin yeah, for IFL TV. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate.